Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to the You Can Too RV channel. Our motorhome is currently marooned in storage, so I've decided to tackle an annoying problem. Our 2004 Newmar Dutch Star came with a factory installed under counter built in ice maker. It's a great thing to have, but lately it's been leaking and ruining the ice. Ours is a U-Line model number ULN-BCM95-03, which I removed and brought back to the garage to work on. The ice maker assembly leaks into the ice tray, which ruins most of our ice and creates a glacier, often freezing the ice tray itself to the inside. The owner's manual suggests reducing ice cube size and temperature to correct this problem. You can adjust the cube size by removing this front cover and turning the screw. The temperature is adjusted by turning the brass slotted stem down below. Neither of these fix the problem. Next I replaced the solenoid valve and that didn't make a difference. The original is no longer produced, but the new version only requires a minor change to the inlet connection. I'll place a link for the valve below. So after doing some more research, I found that it's not uncommon for ice molds in ice makers to corrode and then begin leaking. Since I can't see up into the ice mold, I decided that I would need to pull it out and inspect it. For this, the correct tool appeared to be a deep quarter inch drive socket on a quarter inch drive uh, with a six inch extension. Now, kind of a spoiler alert, as I did this, I had to try and figure out how to get it apart. And I made a few time consuming mistakes and stick around and I'll share a few of these with you uh, and hopefully you can avoid making the same mistakes. I used the quarter inch socket to remove the three bottom screws through the evaporator plate. The entire assembly is glued to the aluminum evaporator plate and I used a flat bladed screwdriver to gently pry the assembly loose. Next I spun it around and pulled out the temperature probe, the water line, and cut the wires. I would recommend removing the rear panel and pulling out the probe and water line and cutting the wires loose before starting to unscrew the ice maker assembly. After I had the old unit out, I took it inside the house and filled it with water and did verify that it was leaking. I ordered a new unit to replace it and I'll place a link for that below also. Once the new unit arrived, I compared them before starting the installation. You can notice that the lining from the old unit has peeled loose and it really doesn't look appealing. There's also a hole drilled through the side of the mold, but this wasn't the source of the leak. Uh, the new unit's wiring connector wouldn't fit through the back of the unit, and I didn't need the connector, so I had to cut it loose. Something else is that the new unit had a green ground wire that wasn't on the original. When I reassembled this, I went ahead and uh, screwed that to the frame of the uh, unit. Uh, I spent some time scraping the old mastic to prepare for the reassembly and then I applied the new thermal mastic that comes with the kit to the same area I had just scraped. I fed the cable through the rear wall. set the unit in place. Inserted the thermal probe from the rear. Do that before you start any screws. So that's a little difficult to position. And I did do a dry fit before I applied the mastic. I started the three bottom screws uh, and since they're the most difficult to align, if you start in the front, you can kind of see in there to get a screw started, but get all of those started and uh, 
don't tighten them yet. Then I uh, started the wall screws and then I tightened them all down. Reinserted the water line, making sure that it's positioned between the clip that sits on top of the ice fill. I reinstalled the unit in the motorhome and let it run for about six hours. I checked the water connection for leaks. As you can see, the ice is now free of clumping. This repair should only take you a couple of hours to perform. And remember, if I can do it, you can too. Before you leave, please subscribe to my channel. Subscriptions are free, and if I can get 100 subscribers, my wife will let me buy a better video camera. And ring the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. Thank you.